Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor turns two years old tomorrow. He will spend it with his parents Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, in Montecito, California. Last year, Archie had his birthday in Los Angeles in the home of Tyler Perry, which his family were borrowing at the time. Archie, who is a dual citizen of the UK and US, has now spent more of his life across the pond. Not much is known about Meghan's son, as she guards his privacy fiercely, but it is known that he was a very calm baby. The Duchess of Sussex cooed to friends about how he was an angel, who did not cry very much, and told the press, he has the sweetest temperament. He's really calm. In fact, he slept so soundly that Meghan worried about whether he was okay. According to the book, Finding Freedom, Meghan even wished he could be a bit noisier during the night to put her mind at ease. Co-authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand wrote, the couple couldn't get over how silent their new baby was. Meghan told a friend that Archie slept so quietly she sometimes wanted him to make a noise so she knew he was okay. Archie had a nursery, of course, but also slept in a bassinet in Harry and Meghan's bedroom. Yesterday, Meghan announced that she has written a book called, The Bench, about the relationship between father and son. The book, which was inspired by Harry's relationship with Archie, has drawn some criticism from certain commentators. Piers Morgan argued that it was ironic that Meghan should write about fatherhood, given her estranged relationship with her own father. The Duchess has not spoken to her father Thomas Markle in several years and he has never met Archie, or indeed Harry apart from over the phone. When Archie was born, Meghan asked her mother Doria Ragland to let Thomas know over text message, but said she did not want to know whether he replied. Thomas has appeared on numerous media outlets, expressing his desire to reconnect with Meghan, although he has admitted he made mistakes. Meanwhile, Harry also has a strained relationship with his own father Prince Charles, especially after the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey. However, Harry did emphasize that it was a commitment of his to heal their divide. About Charles, he said, Of course first we'll always love him, but there's a lot of hurt that's happened. And I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. But they only know what they know and that's the thing.